Thanks for tuning in everyone. I'm Pat and I've gotten my hands on the Henry X model in 4570. Today I've got some parts from Ranger Point Precision for it. We've got their quick takedown screw and their Comet muzzle brake. Now the Comet muzzle brake pretty much excites me. I'm a big bore guy. I don't mind recoil, but if we can slow the rifle down just a little bit, that's a bonus. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to establish a baseline. I've got slow motion and two different angles. We're going to shoot it without the brake and we're going to shoot it with the brake. I've got a just a middle of the road load. I'm going to put three rounds over the chronograph. That way we can get an average muzzle energy and we're going to shoot this thing and see how big of a difference it makes. But first I'm going to establish a baseline of felt recoil, the definition of it. Several people online concur with me that basically felt recoil is how harsh, how quick it comes back on you. Some rifles are really sharp, so they come back and hit you and you get all of it all at once. Some rifles are slower, so you still get the push, you just don't get hit as hard. So that is basically what I'm trying to define. We're going to establish the baseline and see how sharp it is. Then we're going to see how much it slows it down and reduces felt recoil. So let's get started. So contacted Ranger Point Precision on a Friday. This stuff came screaming into my mailbox on a Tuesday. Considering there's a weekend in the middle of that, that is daggum amazing. Especially right now, considering some companies can't get you a simple t-shirt in 30 days. But this is the original takedown screw. Now this one requires use of a flathead screwdriver, and when you're out in the field, you may not have that. The fact that it requires a flathead screwdriver, I can't show you the installation. It's really straightforward. YouTube's not going to allow it. But here's the old one, and here is the new one. You can see that nice little Ranger Point, that RP design on there that's pretty neat. But that is just simply where the lever hinges, and this is how you take it apart. So if you're out in the field, just simple, no tools. Because I'll be shooting this one suppressed a lot. The capacity to back dirt down into the action is very real because a suppressor does throw a lot of that back. So this thing may have to be taken apart on a shooting bench or out in the field or something. So that's a good addition. So now as for this brake, this is how it comes packaged. I got the black nitrated one. It's supposed to be salt bath treated. And they call it their Comet brake. And as you can see, it's pretty neat. I do believe that is the Comet and that is the trail. Pretty neat design that they've done on this. But now the Henry X model is threaded in 5H24. Let's open the action before we mess around with the muzzle. I don't like to mess with the muzzle until we've opened the action. So let's go ahead and take this one off. No tools, very simple. Now I won't be doing any Loctite or any rock set or anything because I'll be taking that one on and off for a suppressor. But installation is just the opposite of removal. That quick. So hopefully, that quickly, we have reduced our recoil. So you're ready for me to shut my mouth and go shoot this. Okay, today's chrono is the Pro Chrono DLX. I'll fire three of these 325 grain FTXs across it. And what I'll do is I will list all of their velocities and our muzzle energy after I edit this in. These rounds here we have are just middle of the road, 2,500 foot pounds. We could go all the way up. We could get some really heavy buffalo bore, but for this test, I decided neither to go light nor heavy. So here is the slow motion of the Henry X with just the thread protector as it ships from the factory. And from another angle. And now here is the Henry X with the Ranger Precision Comet Muzzle Brake. Yes. 
And as you can see here, with the Comet muzzle brake installed, it's not nearly as violent of an event. The rifle still comes back on you, but the movement of the rifle is slowed down. You get a slight breeze of wind to the face, and that is the blast mitigating radially from the brake. So considering the fact that the Comet brake only adds an inch to the overall length of the rifle, I would consider it pretty effective. It's kind of like Mighty Mouse, the little cartoon character from the 80s and 90s. I don't know if they still film that. But yeah, such a small footprint, and it knocks the edge off the recoil. Now, if you're expecting 223 or 556 type recoil, that's not going to happen. It just makes the exchange of firepower versus your shoulder, it knocks the edge off of it, and I like it. And I definitely like that takedown screw as well. It didn't change anything with the action. The lever is just as smooth as it was. Ranger Point Precision has definitely made a difference in my little Henry here. I like it. I believe this Comet muzzle brake is going to be a permanent fixture when my suppressor isn't on here. I'm just going to take that thread protector and put it away for safekeeping. So if you guys are watching this in the future, there will be links in the description to all of my future videos. This gun is going to wind up on the AR15.com YouTube channel as well. So stay tuned, we got a lot more coming. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Your subscription here is absolutely welcome. I shoot a little bit of everything. Wheel guns, lever guns, semi-autos, we shoot it all. But anyway, you guys have an awesome day. We will see you next time. Mm -hmm.